Get crazy, get wild, let's party, get loud. If you want to have fun and do something, if you want to have fun and do something. Hey it's Christine again, and this is my channel, Funkaroo. So um, if you saw my last video, I did a, a box from Poptaria. Um, it was 20 pops. Um, haven't worked out the pricing yet, but it does look quite good. I think we've got about nine stickered pops. Um, the 2021 Summer Convention. Um, so that's quite good. Um, like I said in the other video, if any of those pops that you did see on the video that you like, um, just let me know and then I can, um, we can work out something. So today what I'll be doing is I actually got a delivery from Pop Culture. I actually got it yesterday. Um, my partner was at work and I've got a newborn so I couldn't really open it. So this one is a bushfire um box it's the i think it, you get six pop vinyls of it it's i think it was at 90 dollars um so what i'll do is i'm just gonna open it up and i'm gonna work out the terribles as well i've got the funko up next to me i haven't used it before so um just bear with me just trying to find the hopefully this is upside down so i think i might have a soda in this box as well i think this is the one nope it's actually the wrong way up. <laughs> so happy you only saw the bushfire box on there. So uh, okay. Yep. So it's a bit bigger this box, funny enough. So that's it. So I should. So I have a quick look. So it was yeah, so it was ninety dollars and you get pops but I actually have got seven so that's gonna be very interesting because it was actually a soda I should have got so we'll see what it's what it is and what's going on you know so I've done something wrong here um so this is the first one um so this is a pop culture exclusive it is Pablo Vita I don't actually know who that is it says it's from drag queens if anyone collects drag queens it's pop culture exclusive um, there it is. So I'll scan it up on the app. See what it comes up as. So training value ten dollars. You can see that. Training value ten dollars on that one. Pop culture exclusive, which is pretty cool. So the second one, another stickered pop, but it's actually a 2019 spring convention limited edition exclusive. It's from The Incredibles 2 and it's Void. Surely, I haven't seen The Incredibles 2 in a very long time, but it's quite a cool pop. I've seen a couple of people pull it out actually. Um, so yeah, we'll see what the value is on that one. Maybe a little bit more, um, possibly, you, that it's got a sticker on it, but we'll sh see. Again, very new at this, so still trying to get the hang of it. Okay, here we go. Okay, so training value, $20, but of course we know that the Funko app is not always correct. So that's that one. Okay, so the next one I'm pulling out, ah, yes, it's the Bushfire Heroes. So I don't know um, if any of you guys have this, I believe that you can, it is a pop culture exclusive. Um, which is a very good cause, you know, all the money um, does actually go to the bushfires at the time when I, I assume pop culture donated it to them, which is really cool. So um, I know a lot of people do like this one. Um, I actually personally like it myself. So that one's actually trending value $4, um, which is um, doesn't bother me what the value is to be honest because I'm it's going to be added to my collection which is pretty cool so the next one is oh wow Edward Scissorhands that's it's actually quite awesome I, I don't actually collect that line um but if if you do um just let me know because again I'm more than happy for you to um take it off my hands it's it's a good condition pop actually Oh, it might be a little scratch just on the front there. You probably can't see it. It's just on the front there. But it is a pop uh, pop culture exclusive, which is good. Um, let me just scan this one up. So this one is worth $17. So. Uh, so the next one is Jay and Silent Bob Reboot. It's a pop movie. I personally haven't seen it. 
again pop culture exclusive which is awesome um i've actually yeah haven't seen that one so if again you're after this one just let me know it's moving on the back um never actually heard of it to be completely honest so this one the trending value on this one is what i'll do is at the end i'll total it all up and um let you know the price of what the box was worth and how much we got out of it that one's only wow it's actually 37 dollars pretty good i personally don't know what it is but if you do let me know so the next one i have here is a pop uh, pop culture exclusive it's very cool it's from the minions it's glow in the dark it's bride kevin there it is bride kevin so bride kevin so that one's currently trending as let's have a quick look for you Thirteen dollars, pretty cool though. It goes in the dark. I think that's quite awesome. So the last one, which is quite strange, is actually I, I don't think I've ever seen this before. I don't know if you guys have seen this. Um, just comment below and let me know. I thought it was a number seven, and I thought that maybe they'd done an error. Um, it's actually my soda's actually in here. I I don't know if that's normal, but I've never seen it. The box obviously is damaged, but. That's fine because we, we don't need the box. Um, so this is actually going to be my first soda I open up, which is which is cool. They've wrapped it really well, to be honest. I, I think it's incredible they've put it in a box. Kind of scared me a tad. Thought that um wasn't going to get a soda, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm just going to open this up here. Um, so it's limited edition, 8,000 pieces from what I can see. So I don't actually know how to do this probably struggle with it. so i don't want to look at the top i don't actually know where the card is i don't want to look at it whatever happens okay i actually prefer not to get the chase to be honest um so if any of you are after a chase and i get the chase i'm more than happy to give it to you but we actually got the non-chase version the chase i believe was a glow in the dark one so that's a little monopoly man so that's that's him it's actually my first soda like i mentioned before which is pretty cool so he's actually one of 6700 so he's quite cool there he is again so yeah quite cool i actually have a mr monopoly um i think he's got the jail suit on up here yeah it's a jail suit um so he's pretty i actually won him from a claw machine funny enough um yeah so what i'll do now is i'll just quickly total up these for you and let you know what the total price was just so you know if it's valuable i i think we did pretty well due to the fact that um most of these are actually pop culture exclusives i think um except one so that's i think pretty cool so obviously as mentioned before um it is very different to what people do sell it on Facebook and that is um, the pricing. So I could get a pop that says $5, but it could be the complete opposite, which is more than okay. You know, it's just a bit of fun. So I just want to open some boxes for you guys. Okay. So let's work this out. But um, yeah, I think my favourite besides the bushfire pop, I reckon, would be even the minion was quite cool how that glows in the dark. Alright, so I'll just get this added up for you real quick. So the total box value that I actually got at was $137. As I said, um, I don't actually know if that's true or not. I do know the Bushfire Pop is decent value at the moment. Um, and that's the one I brought it for. I brought the box for $90. So, you know, in a way, if I if that was correct, the value, it would be a decent box. Um, yeah, so pretty much every pop I had actually has a sticker on it. So if you can see, both those have the Pop Culture Exclusive sticker. Uh, same with these two. It was a pretty good box, I think. 
you know, and this one's got a pop culture, yep, pop culture exclusive, sorry. And this last one is actually the 2019 Spring Convention Limited Edition exclusive. So I think we did a pretty well decent box. Um, again, $90, but it totaled, I think it was $137, I said. Um, so I'd definitely say it would be worth it. I mean, if you're looking at getting the Bush by Hero, I'd say um, it'd be value for money in a way. Um, but yeah, just have a look into it and see what we can do. So um, as I mentioned, we do have a horror box coming. Um, and I will down the track get the 36 pops from um, Pop Culture just to have a look and test it out, see how we go. I, I do know that some people can pull chases from those, um, from any of the boxes really. Um, so I'm hoping to pull a chase, but I think today we did pretty well. Um, so like and subscribe and thanks for watching.